Right folks, we're back here again, back down on the wheel head, and I've got to do the, the spout, so that's about 150 grams of clay, something like that. Um, on my other wheel in there, there is a, a rib. Rib. Thanks. Okay, so we're centering it down the clay here. Now I'm going to go in right the way down to the wheel head. So my finger now is touching on the wheel head. Thanks. I'm just getting this rib ready because I'm going to use that in a minute. So right down to the wheel head now. I'm going to pull the clay across and that's giving me that sort of shape. Now I want to keep it conical and I'm now going to pull up the clay to the centre like that. Now this is a nice curved shape, so we want to keep the flow of that curve. This is where your little finger comes in. Okay, so I'm collaring in and lifting up as well. Collaring it. and then lifting it on my little finger like that. Now you can, you can if you want to, use a, a chopstick to lift against. Say your finger doesn't, doesn't want to fit in there. So there we have the, basically the spout. Now I've got here, one of my old favourite ribs that I use. I'll just clean it so you can see it. It's just a regular kind of a regular rib, one of these. I'm going to use that to just clean off the the slurry and sharpen up the form. La, 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 la. Okay, I hope you can see. I hope you can see that. Right. The guy's ready to come off the wheel, so I'm going to cut him off. The wire. Now, because I clean, there's different ways of getting these off. Um, scraper. The wide one, the wide one. That's it, yeah, yeah. There's different ways of getting a spout off the wheel. I'll show you both. One is with a, a scraper like this. You just simply put it underneath like that and you can you can lift it like that. That's one way of getting a spout off. Let's just put him back down again. Another way is if you manage to, to keep clean off the slurry satisfactorily you can with a dry hand lift it. Okay like that. 
So there you are, I've got two ways of getting spout off the wheel. Now I'm going to put the spout there next to the teapot. And what we've got to do now is make the lid. Now, what we actually, what I actually ought to do is show you, bring the teapot into the picture here. I hope that's in the picture. Doesn't matter if it's a bit tilted actually like that. Now what I'm going to do is, is with the calipers, with the calipers I'm going to measure that across there. Okay, good, that's done. Right, now. Play. This is a lid that is trimmed afterwards, and I like the top of the teapot to be slightly domed. So Pushing out the clay. A bit more. Things to bear in mind are the, the depth inside there relative to the depth of the flange on the teapot. Lifting that up a bit. So let's give that a check. Now you can see that's, and bear in mind when you measure it, you can measure it at the top there, but when you go further down on in, it may be a bit tighter. So just, just be aware of that. All right. That's pretty good, I think. That's going to give us a reasonably good fit. Right, so leather, chamois leather, the chat with my throwing stick. Just clean the outside of that like that. Put a little undercut in. Not a bad idea. And we're going to get ready to lift, lift him off. So cut him off. Now you can lift, if you've dried, if you've, with your stick, taken off the slurry off the side here, dry your fingertips and you can peel it off the wheel. Look, you see how it just comes off? And then work your fingers underneath. You see what my fingers are doing? They're going underneath, you see? Like that, you see? And I got him. Got the little number, right. Okay, well, there we have teapot. Spout and a lid. Join us for the conclusion of that as we put it together. Simon Leach here saying keep practicing and please keep clicking. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye now.